Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Visa Harmony. Today I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of fiancé petition and spouse petition. We at Visa Harmony, we provide assistance with certain U.S. petitions and immigration applications. We have first-hand experience. I am an immigrant myself. I came to the USA on a K-1 visa in 2013, went through the whole immigration process. First, the fiancé petition, then the adjustment of status, removal of conditions, and I became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 2017. I will leave our contact information below. If you are a U.S. citizen who wants to bring your foreign partner to live with you in the United States, you might be wondering which option is better for you, filing a fiancé petition or a spouse petition. Today, we will compare the two options and explain their pros and cons. First, let's define each option. A fiancé petition is filed on a form I-129F, Petition for Alien Fiancé, and is used when the foreign fiancé beneficiary is outside the USA. The U.S. citizen files the form with the USCIS, and if approved, the foreign fiancé beneficiary can apply for a K-1 visa at a U.S. embassy or consulate abroad. The K-1 visa allows the foreign fiancé beneficiary to enter the United States as a fiancé and marry the U.S. citizen petitioner within 90 days of arrival in the USA. After marriage, the foreign fiancé beneficiary can apply for adjustment of status to become a lawful permanent resident or green card holder. I will provide the link below on the complete guide on our website for the fiancé petition and the video we created on how to organize your fiancé petition packet. For the spouse petition, it is filed on a Form I-130 Petition for Alien Relative and is used when the couple is already married either in the United States or abroad. The U.S. citizen files the form with USCIS, and if approved, the foreign spouse beneficiary can either apply for adjustment of status if they are already in the USA, or apply for an immigrant visa at a U.S. embassy or consulate abroad if they are outside the USA. The immigrant visa allows the foreign spouse to enter the USA as a legal permanent resident or green card holder. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of each option? Let's start first with the fiancé petition. The main advantage of the fiancé petition is that it is a little bit faster to process than the spouse petition. Currently, the average processing time for the fiancé petition based on our experiences with our client is about 12 to 18 months. It used to be about 6 months a few years back, but with the pandemic, USAAS had a lot of backlogs. For the spouse petition, it is about 18 to 24 months. This means that the couple can be reunited sooner and start their married life together here in the USA. Another advantage of the fiancé petition is that it gives the couple more time to get to know each other better before they get married in the USA. The main disadvantage of the fiancé petition is that the foreign fiancé beneficiary will not automatically have a green card after marriage to the U.S. citizen petitioner. The foreign fiancé beneficiary has to go through another process of applying for adjustment of status, which involves submitting more documents, possibly attending another interview, and waiting for another approval, which can take up to 12 months. Now let's take a look at the spouse petition. The main advantage of the spouse petition is that it grants the foreign spouse beneficiary a green card upon entry to the USA. The foreign spouse beneficiary does not have to go through another process of applying for adjustment of status, which saves them time and hassle. The main disadvantage of the spouse petition is that it has slower processing times than the fiancé petition. As mentioned earlier, the average processing time for a spouse petition is about 18 to 24 months compared to the average processing time for the fiancé petition of about 12 to 18 months. This means that the couple has to wait longer to be reunited and start their married life together in the USA. Another disadvantage of the spouse petition is that it limits the option for planning the wedding. The couple has to get married outside the USA before filing the Form I-130. The couple may face difficulties in inviting their family and friends from both countries to attend their wedding abroad. 
as far as expenses goes, both the fiancé petition and spouse petition has almost the same fees. I will link the videos we created on the estimated cost for each application. So, which option is better for you? Filing a fiancé petition or a spouse petition? The answer depends on your personal preference and circumstances. You should consider factors such as how soon do you want to be with your partner in the USA? Where do you want to have your wedding ceremony? How important it is for you to have your partner become a green card holder as soon as possible? Does the foreign beneficiary have child or children to bring to the USA? There is no one-size-fits-all solution for every couple. You should weigh the pros and cons of each option carefully. We have more videos on both applications on our channel. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions on this topic, please post them in the comment section below or send us an email at ask at visaharmony.com. Thank you and see you next time.